Now, today is also the digital release date for a brand new zombie movie shot right here in the heartland. I talked to the director this morning over video call. Take a listen as he describes his latest work titled Herd. How are you doing? You know, it's good, good. Been a good, interesting morning. We had our U.S. premiere last night um, at New York Comic Con, and we also had a VIP, like, private screening. They all went very, very well, and now this morning we're featured on uh, Apple TV. So just kind of we've been working all morning to figure out which platform to push. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. So it's Friday the 13th that all of this is happening, and Heard is a scary movie. So tell me about it. Yeah, Heard is a – it's a – film that about two women going on a camping trip trying to save a failing marriage and they end up trapped between a uh, zombie outbreak and warring militia groups um it's all about fighting for like you know where some people fight for survival others fight for control so it's a it is a horror movie it's not a, you know it is it's interesting because it's not a we don't do the 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 sort of horror movie where it's all gore and guts and um, you know that's not this type of movie our movie's more in like the vein of the last of us where it's really about the people in dire circumstances treating and how they treat each other and you know the decisions they make and you filmed this in the heartland near poplar bluff yep why did you decide to do that well, so I'm from Poplar Bluff uh, originally, um, and this being an independent film, we knew all the locations and places that we could film that would look beautiful that are not overshot. You know, um, so I live in New York now, but I know, you know, like, for instance, this film opens on the current river. It has a big, huge sequence in downtown Poplar Bluff, which is beautiful in its own right. And most people have never seen it before. Um, we do. There's a sequence that features like a bunch of farmland that you can see in three miles in each direction. So just these huge sort of epic set pieces we were able to accomplish um, because they exist there. And most people, filmmakers at least, don't know they do. So we were very lucky to kind of get to capture some of that for the first time. And what inspired you to create this movie? Yeah, I mean, obviously, I want making movies is important to me. Um, one of the things my co-writer James Allardyce and I always talk about when we write a script is, and this is our first feature script that's ever been produced. We've written several, but we always talk about like why does a story need to be told? Um, like, so we want it to be entertaining, but it has for us. We want to try and have some kind of value beyond just that. That we're trying to examine something about life or something about people, and this is really about. Again, you know, people put in dire circumstances and how that can really pivot groups of people to turn on each other, you know, at the drop of a hat because of these incremental choices that people make. What does it mean to you to get to bring this back to your hometown? Uh, it's making it there. I was very nervous going in because we were bringing actors of you know some you know actors and crew members and people from all over the country and i had no idea if we were going to be welcomed or you know we're also making a, a a you know zombie movie and movies are sort of like so sort of like a circus like they're they're not often um you know we, we we are very we take up a lot of space we make a lot of noise and then all of a sudden it's just kind of over so it, it can be quite traumatic for communities i didn't know if ours with mine would be embracing and they were beyond amazing like it was the actors still talk about you know living in the comfort in there for a month and like you know meeting all the people and the staff and the police officers and everybody they, they so i think we are also excited to get to go back and see a bunch of these people that have no idea you know what goes into making a movie they were just willing to help us with everything they can that's awesome and it sounds like it's going to be great for the whole community to get involved in that Thank you so much for doing this. I appreciate your time. Of course. It was great speaking with you, Nikki. If zombie movies are your thing, you can purchase or rent Heard from Framework Productions starting today. It's available on Apple TV Plus and iTunes. And if you want to watch the movie where it was actually filmed right here in the heartland, the local premiere is happening in Poplar Bluff, Missouri on Saturday, October 21st. The film is playing at the historic Rogers Theater at 6.30 p.m. that day. Tickets are still available at herd.film.